Hello, my name is Richard Grocott and I'm the Export Sales Director at Bowers Group. Today I'm going to show and demonstrate our air gauging system and explain what it is, how it works uh, and what Bowers Group can offer. I'm going to talk about the general use of air gauging, the equipment that you need to get started and the display options that Bowers Group can, can offer. So air gauging is a very simple, fast and user-friendly method of providing high precision measurement results, even in very challenging environments, uh, by providing a non-contact measurement system that uses airflow volumes and pressures to measure components. And we know that air gauging is a very reliable and repeatable technology that is well suited for applications that demand submicron precision. So let's take a look at uh, it in its component parts and we can see that an air gauging system consists of an air plug or an air ring with an air supply through a precision regulator and filter kit, high and low setting masters and a digital display. We have three displays which we can offer. All of them are capable of data output and can facilitate an inspection plan. So air gauging is perfect for geometric measurements such as straightness, um, concentricity, hole center distance, taper, and much more. There's virtually zero operator influence, and this ensures that you can get excellent gauge R&R capability. Each air plug or ring is machined as a bespoke component at our factory in the UK. And to ensure that we provide the best solution, we would normally require an engineering drawing of the part to be measured. So how does air gauging work? Well, most applications use back pressure variations to make a measurement. And as distance increases, the back pressure decreases. This is known as inverse proportion, and we can tailor the jet configuration to guarantee linearity over the required working range. Our air gauging systems require a minimum of two setting masters. These masters are produced at the upper and the lower tolerance points, and in most applications, those are the critical points, but our readouts also have the facility to use three-point calibration, which is useful in applications where a larger working range is required. Air gauging offers a very simple and easy to use system, giving operator confidence that they are producing a perfect part. Uh, bespoke designs give uh, reduced measurement cycle times and help to avoid any expensive scrapping of customer parts. With uh, air gauging tooling, you'll need a digital display. We have three displays available, starting with the Bowers Air 1 and Air 2, which are single and dual channel units. These can be configured manually using uh, the touchscreen or using a QR code, and the QR code normally is preloaded with the correct measurements and tolerances. And the QR scanner simply plugs directly into the display uh, and doesn't require any external hardware, just the QR scanner itself. The number of channels determine the number of inputs on the back of the display. So Air 1 has one tooling input, Air 2 has two tooling inputs, and they offer uh, a range of measurements going straight into Excel or any other system that you, uh, that you may use. A MIDI printer is also available for, uh, for printing. And to maximize efficiency when taking measurements, a configurable foot switch can also be provided. Our Air 3 display has the same features as the Air 1 and Air 2, but with a larger screen and some extra features, including sequence measurement for a guided inspection process and a nice eco mode, which reduces air consumption during periods, but maintains some airflow uh, to maintain the tooling in a good condition uh, for when measurements need to restart. It also has SPC function, so for machine tool analysis, and is network compatible because it's a non-Windows operating system, it can be networked. And our digi digital displays are also configurable with Silcom uh, software from Silvac and, and through MBUS modules. That can be used to create inspection plans, capture data, carry out post-measurement SPC operations, and so on. Okay, I'll now show 
an air gauging sequence measurement demonstration. And um, this demonstration will show how six characteristics of a part can be measured. Uh, this is actually, so actually can be done as a manual process with the tooling auto detecting or as an operator guided measurement sequence, which is what I'll now use. The first request when using a sequence measurement is for the part number. And I can add that using the QR code scanner. And that's followed by the number of parts in a batch being measured. I'll add two parts for this demonstration. Now, as I run through the guided sequence, each measurement is displayed and captured. And I've set up a foot switch to cycle through each of these measurements. One part of the sequence is a manual input of a visual check. It's actually looking for a uh, drilled countersink, which I'll confirm as being present. Move on to the final two measurements. When I've completed the part measurement, there's a summary sheen, uh, screen, which shows all of the results, all of the fact that they're all good results within, within limits. If I hit OK at that point, it will transfer the data also to an Excel spreadsheet. We're moving on to the second part, so we're part number two of two, and go through the same process, cycling through each stage of the, of the check. But this time, on the visual inspection, it's looking for this uh, drilled countersink. I'll actually say that that's not present, so we get a no-go result in this case. Final two measurements. Now we have a summary sheet that's showing that everything apart from the one visual check that I made is okay.